In this video, we're going to talk about high order active filter. Now, uh, before we get into describing what a high order is and why we need it, let's go ahead and go back and revisit some of the definition with respect to low pass, which would apply to all the other uh, filters we are to looking at. So if you uh, take a look at uh, the uh, transfer function for a low pass filter, so H of S for a low pass filter, we generally write it as omega C over S plus omega C. And we might, we might or we might not have some positive or negative gain on top of that, which we usually represent as K. Let's, let's, uh, let's assume we have a unit, just, just to simplify things, let's assume we have a unit gain. So the gain is equal to one. So K is equal to one. And let's assume omega C is equal to one radian per second as well. That would simplify H of S for a low pass filter to just simply one over S plus one. Now, uh, going back and kind of revisiting some of the ideas we had uh, on, uh, <clears throat> on the Bode plot as a way of representing the magnitude of H of S, if you recall, Bode plot would allow us to represent um, on, on one axis a a, what's called a db, which is equal to 20 log base 10 of magnitude of h of s. So, and then, and so they could be, you know, we typically go 0 minus 20 in d, these are all in db, and um, minus 40, and plus 20, and plus 40. And then this is going to be omega, and omega could start at, let's say, 0.1. Maybe the next one is going to be 1, 10. Remember that both axes are logarithmic. Um, and, and we have this filter, and this filter, uh, basically, because we have one root, one uh, pole, one root of the denominator, denominator roots is called pole. When, if you recall, for every for every root in the bottom, you uh, the slope is minus twenty dB. So what's going to happen is that uh, you this is going to be zero until one, and at one, it's gonna it's it's basically going to drop at minus 20 dB per decade. So, so basically means, let's say at, at zero, that basically tells us that H of S is equal to one, magnitude of H of S is one. Um, that's how we got a zero there. And then at minus 20, it's basically tell us, telling us that H of S uh, magnitude of H of S is one ten. Okay, so what is happening here is that at this point the filter is basically passing everything through, and then at this point one tenth of everything is going through. So now the question is, the question is, can I make? I want to have a sharper. So in other words, at ten hertz, I do not want to have. Maybe I want uh, a lot less to go through how would i how would i go about uh, making making this drop off steeper maybe minus 60 or minus 80 or minus 100 or maybe i want to get really really close to here you know get to minus 200 db per decade so how do i go about making that sharper the way we do that is by adding more pole because every time you add a root to the denominator, you're basically adding 20 dBs drop in it. So the simplest way uh, to, to do this, to, to increase the slope of the drop off is by increasing the number of these filters that are put in a row. So, <clears throat> so this, this filter as it stands is called the first order 
filter. There's only one, one root at the bottom. So if you wanted to do more of them, all we need to do is the in comes in here. We run it through your first low pass filter, which has a characteristic of minus one, the transfer function of one plus s. If you want to have it, this this will give us 20 dB. If you want 40 dB, then we put another low pass filter with the same H of s. And then maybe we want to, however many we want, and let's say we would have, if this was low pass one, two, that would be two second order, and then maybe we want an N order filter, so, and that's V out. Okay, so the new transfer function, if, if you do this, is gonna be the multiplication, all of these things together, so h of s for the whole thing will be uh, basically minus one over one plus s um, times minus one over one plus s uh, on and on and on till we get to the last one. So we're gonna have n of these things in a row. And so that's great, but one thing you're noticing hopefully is that as the slopes as the slopes get sharpened, actually the cutoff frequency gets closer, gets closer and closer to zero, so it moves in. So we have to count for that. So yes, we could make the slopes sharper by multiplying this and basically ending up with uh, n being the number of stages. This will be n, and it will be one plus s to the n. So this would be a minus n times 20 db drop off now the question is where is where is the omega c of the higher order um so higher order uh, filter going to reside so the process is exactly the same as what we've done basically we have to take the magnitude of h of s and since the gain was one we got to take the magnitude of h of s where s is equal to j omega c so the cutoff frequency has to be equal to one over square root of two that same idea the half power point so if we carry this through we will find that omega of the uh, filter with n the cutoff frequency with n stages cascaded together is actually going to be equal to mm, uh, and if you write it in terms of the old frequency, it's going to be, this equation is going to be equal to square root of nth, nth square of 2 minus 1, that whole thing multiplied by omega c with, with, with the, uh, the first order filter. So this is an equation that tells us where the cutoff frequency is and how we can arrive at it. Let, let's take, this is interesting enough or different enough, we should probably take an example of this. Let's say some, someone comes to us and say, design a, design a fourth order, low pass filter uh, with the omega C uh, of the new filter, omega c of the fourth order being equal to 1,243, 1,200, 12,400 radian per second. Okay. So how do we go about that? Well, first of all, it's fourth order, so our h of s is going to be basically, um, we don't know what the omega c high, uh, it's going to be basically omega c of the first order, just one filter, and uh, the, the bottom is gonna be s plus omega c to the power of four. So that would be our fourth order, uh, and this will probably have four, and probably gonna have some k to even these things up. So that's, uh, that's uh, what we can do. But now the question is, what should this omega c of one be if we want to have um, the, the, the 
the new frequency be at that place. So we, we're going to use this equation from here and we say, okay, we want this to be at 1200, 12,400. The question is, where should we design omega C1 to be? And we're going to use this equation to simply, and N in this case is 4 minus 1. So omega C for the 1 filter is simply going to be 1,200, uh, 12,400 divided by square root of root 4 of 2 minus 1. Once we have that, then we know a low pass filter, this is equal to 1 over RC. We can pick our R, pick our C, and literally design uh, the one stage. Once the, so, the one stage will design it, and then we will have four of these low pass filters in a row in cascade form and series, and that would give us what we're looking for. This would be V in, that would be V out.